Ladies and gentlemen, Sony's just wrapped up their E3 press conference. They won. They won. Mic drop. It was amazing from the very beginning. The show opens up with an orchestra playing. And the first trailer that shows up was for God of War 4. And the God of War 4 trailer, or gameplay, it wasn't even a trailer, it was gameplay. And it was amazing. Especially the way that they did the reveal for Kratos. Because you didn't see him at first, and then just slowly opened up. And it was, it looked beautiful, and it actually looked really good. And I'm not a God of War fan. And I loved the way it looked. Then... They did a trailer for a new game, Days Gone, a trailer for The Last Guardian, and then they did gameplay for a new game, or for a game called Horizon Dawn something. I forgot the last part of the name. So much happened that I just couldn't pay attention to that name. But Horizon looked really good, and... After that was a trailer for a game called Detroit, or Detroit, and that one looked really cool because it was like there was many different story paths it could have taken, and it shows you how many different options that you had and how many different ways you could take it. It looked really cool, and then after that, we got Resident Evil 7. It looked really good. It looked very different than the regular Resident Evils. It looked... It, it's something to look out for. And then after that, they did some VR stuff. Their VR was really their VR section was really was really packed. They had Farpoint on VR, which looked really good. Battlefront X Wing VR missions are coming, which are amazing. Just sitting in the cockpit of the X Wing. Look, getting a look around on the VR missions. Batman Arkham VR. Oh my god, the trailer for that one was great because you had the Joker narrating it. And after that was Final Fantasy XV. They did a lot of Final Fantasy stuff for this one, obviously. Um, you got the trailer, another trailer for it. Then you got VR coming for Final Fantasy XV. And then you can play as the girl that they that they showed in the trailer. I can't remember her name because I haven't really been following it. But you can play as her. You can play VR and Final Fantasy XV. It, oh my goodness. And then, and then, oh my god. The next trailer, or the next gameplay they showed was for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And they didn't tell you what it was until after they got done with the gameplay. And it oh, it was it was brilliant how they did it because it's like we'll show you the game first, then we'll tell you the name. And it was perfect because a lot of people hated Infinite Warfare, but Infinite Warfare looks really, really good. I might actually get it. After that, they announced what everybody's been wanting: Crash Bandicoot is back. They're going to be releasing Crash Bandicoot one, two, and Warped. All redone and remastered for the PlayStation 4. Crash Bandicoot is also going to be in um, Skylanders Imaginators. And as far as Imaginators go, you can create your own Skylanders now for Imaginators. And it, that's a really good idea, and I really like it. Uh, probably not enough to get Skylanders, but that's a really good idea to do. After that, they did LEGO Star Wars 7, which obviously... You kind of could kind of see coming, um, after and then after that one was done with, they gave Kojima one of the best intros and ovations I have seen from any video game creator or anything, and they previewed Kojima's first game that I know of. Pretty sure it's Kojima's first game. 
Death Stranding. And what makes this game so good is Norman freaking Reedus is going to be in this game. The lead character. He's in it. They got him. Norman freaking Reedus. Hands down win right there. Oh my god. I cannot wait for that game. Um, it, then there was... After that was a Spider-Man game. And... Sony won. They just straight up won. There was there were a couple of more. I'm sure I'm forgetting. I can't keep it composed. I'm way too tired and excited. I did forget one thing though from earlier. Um, as far as Bethesda goes, the first level of Doom is free for anyone who wants to try Doom. I'm gonna download it now because it's Doom. And I want to try it out. So that's free for anyone who wants to try it out. Doom, first level is free. Um, it, it was great. Sony really brought their A game. And they brought a lot of stuff to the table. And I cannot wait for all these games to come out. Both on the PlayStation and on the Xbox. At the end of the day... You know, you ask, people are going to ask you, who won E3? Was it Sony? Was it Xbox? Um, Nintendo's still yet to go, but they'll ask you, you know, who won? Sony, PlayStation. The only people who won are the fans. Because both Sony and both Microsoft brought really great products. So you can't just simply choose one or the other. The fans really won this one. The community won this one. It's been a great E3 so far, and it's not over yet. Um, Double Fine's got their stuff coming up here in just a little bit. I'm not going to be covering it. I'm going to bed. Um, they did... Someone went up before Sony. I can't find any news on it. Square Enix went out, went up earlier. Only thing I was able to find on that is Deus Ex. Is, there's going to be a new Deus Ex game. So that that's that. Um, aside from the obvious Final Fantasy, um, I'm pretty sure Square did some Final Fantasy 14 stuff as well for their panel, like uh, Patch 3.35, which I'm sure Krim will get to on Friday if we don't talk about it tomorrow. Um, anyway, guys, that's been that. I'm excited. I'm stoked. I'm going to go sleep on this, and then tomorrow... After Nintendo does theirs, I'm going to bring you a complete E3 recap and my thoughts of what happened and what I thought going forward. So guys, enjoy it. Have a great rest of E3. Thanks for listening to this. Thanks for supporting us. And have fun until I talk to you guys tomorrow.